So here we are, um, probably about maybe mile 24 of the beautiful Vol State course. Where I think about a few miles from Martin, where I plan to have an actual meal of some kind, like a sit down yummy thing. So, hey, I don't know what I'm gonna have yet, so I'm gonna start thinking about it in a couple miles. So here we are. Um, we are at about mile 44. Uh, feeling pretty damn awesome. The sun in the, the hot hours were real hot. My ass was baking. Um, but I think, you know, things have improved a lot with the sun going down. Uh, I'm about four miles away from the Gleason Fire Station where I plan to take probably at least a three hour break minimum. Um, and I'll change into some short sleeve and probably change out the hat for a bandana um, minimum three hours but I might I might sleep until I wake up or I might not fall asleep and just keep pushing on who knows we'll find out good morning the Sun is gonna be coming up soon the moon is still out there somewhere I'm feeling awesome I think we're we, the royal we, um, are at mile 58, 59-ish. So left Mackenzie, um, headed down Route 22 to Huntington, -ton. and then through Lexington. I'm going to be on this stretch of road uh, for at least, I want to say about 35-ish miles. Um, well, there to go. <laughs> Okay, when a semi passes you, they go by, and then like a couple seconds later, glorious breeze. Love the glorious breeze. Um, I'm hoping to get into the next town so I can put my long sleeve back on uh, before it gets super hot because I kind of don't want to just duck into the trees and change my shirt. And I kind of want to wash my underwear and change into my next pair. Um, but otherwise, I'm feeling great. Uh, this is fucking amazing. For real. And Gleason Fire Station. I wish I'd taken video there, but wow. Wow. Yay. So I just updated a few miles ago, and uh, shit has gotten dire. Um, mainly that I'm at mile 61, and there's just like open pastures. I got poo. And I haven't gone poo yet today or since yesterday and oh boy I do not want to fertilize these soybean fields and there's really nice houses shit's getting dire crisis averted I found a manky old uh, glove work glove on the ground and then this little thicket of thicket of shrubs did my business and I feel like a million bucks again Woo! So I'm having a little bit of a low. Uh, we oak puked and it was really funny. I picked up uh, Oak and Greg. But right now we are several miles from hotel, um, like eight-ish. And I have like a weird case of the daytime sleepies. And all I want to do, just lay on a bed. That would be super semi breeze anyway I'll uh, do another update when I'm flying over the moon which hopefully will be soon by the way we're happy again we say we say we 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 so I finally made it to a hotel room in Parker's crossing Parker something so I got my feet up and I also put on a face mask. Um, I say it's to make myself not feel like a goblin, but um, I kind of look like a goblin anyway, but that's fine. I'm trying to feel human, I'm gonna do this face mask and then I'm gonna hopefully sleep at least six or seven hours before I get back up. Um, it's like, I don't know what time it is. It's something time, maybe four, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, then it'll be nighttime when I leave, so I'm gonna munch on some foods and uh, get some rest. See you on the flip, flip, 
the slip slide. Yeah, I'll see you on the slip slide. Hello, it's uh, almost 2 a.m. I am in Lexington, Tennessee. Um, it's kind of humid right now, so I'm sweating buckets, or at least I'm sweating and nothing is going away and the, the water and the air is clinging to me. Um, so I got a really good sleep. I didn't leave. I told myself I would not leave the hotel room until like midnight, and so that basically happened. So that was good. I'm very grateful I had, I made myself sleep because um, I almost got up and left at like nine. I'm like, no, stay. And then I had a really good second sleep. Um, all I want right now is a fucking huge chopped salad. Oh, I want a chopped salad so bad. Um, so hopefully um, I'm gonna come through Lexington, probably will be through there. 7 a.m. hopefully um, or be on the other side and then once the 7 a.m. check-in happens then I'm going to assess and see where I can find a salad and what time I'll be there so uh, it's it's the salad focus I just had my first angry dog encounter um, so still in Lexington actually not far from my left you last all of a sudden you hear this rrr, and like three dogs come running out barking and growling and so I yelled very loudly hey go away and actually hurt my throat a little bit because I yelled so aggressively um and they turned tail and ran so that has my adrenaline spiking oh <sighs> okay so I'm feeling so much better um so I went to this school to go put my feet up and it was just so fucking cold in there so I said okay that's enough. So I'm shivering just ah, and I knew 30 or 30, a uh, half a mile away, there was going to be a convenience store opening soon. Um, and so I said, okay, I'm going to go down there. It was like kind of a mom and a pop Fisher's grocery, whatever. Um, so I go down and all the lights are off and I'm like, no. And then this guy comes over and he's like, oh, you can come in. We just haven't turned the lights on. Um, so it was before they opened. So they kind of opened early. Um, I had a chocolate milk, a couple cups of coffee, and a sausage and egg biscuit. Oh, I feel amazing. Those people are amazing. And that guy had a great mullet. And you know, I love a good mullet. Today is going to be a fucking great day. All right, so there's all these downhills right now where I'm at. It's outside of Parsons. It's uphill. It's downhill. It's uphill. It's downhill. And there's some stupid bitch who lives in my head and she insists we run the downhills. So here we are running a down then we'll trudge up the up and then run a little down. <laughs> so it's like 12.15 um, I'm halfway to Hohenwald um, going up uh, 16 Mile Hill, as they call it. Um, I tried to sleep in Linden, but the welcome center they had, it was just too loud, so I couldn't get any sleep. So I just had like a nice 30 minute nap oh, here on this uh, stone. It's like a bench, stone bench. Pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. So I'd actually like to stay at this super duper sweet bench um, but I don't want to pull out my emergency blanket and it's getting cold so that's why I'm gonna move on um, and I'm kind of thinking about staying at a hotel in Hohenwald it just depends how I feel when I get there good morning from Hohenwald Tennessee um, so last night after my rock sleep um, I came across a road angel station. It was uh, this guy's um, garage that he had all these chairs in, some like lounge chairs, and had like these kind of like blanket things and everything. So I grabbed that stuff and I fell asleep hard. And I slept like at least a three, at least three hours. Um, and a couple other people came in and they were sleeping too. So it was just a really amazing place for a sleep um you know got some food and drink um and i don't know what time it was but 
Oak and Greg rolled in. And so then I was like, hey, you mind if I come with you? Um, so we're now, we went from there to Hohenwald. Um, they're stopping, they stopped to get some KT tape and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to Hardee's. I'm gonna have some breakfast, yay. So outside Hohenwald, um, the mid morning sleepies have hit hard. I'm like wanting to just lay on the asphalt and take a little nap. Um, so kind of at a low sleepy point. Um, the object now is to get uh, to like mile 162 maybe um, because there is a post office and I would like to sleep in the post office. Um, and I think 145 was my last check-in. So it's, it's more miles than I want to do this sleepy. So this completely awesome couple pulled over and gave us popsicles and I immediately burst out crying because people are awesome and I was having a real low moment but this this is helping a lot. Good morning from just outside Columbia. Um, car traffic's bad. It's got the morning traffic stuff going on but last night I stayed at a hotel. I don't know if I recorded a video last night. Uh, I was extremely out of it um, and my body just shut down. Um, so I'm going to be hitting the bench of despair in about probably five miles and I'm super excited. Um, so yeah, yesterday was uh, bad. I don't know. It just sucks. Um, but now I've got a fuck ton of sleep, retaped my feet, still only have two blisters, uh, knock on wood. Um, and I've got this awesome coffee drink and it tastes just like Oreo. So life is good. Okay, I just realized I did say life is good and it is, but this is what's ahead of me. Um, we're, it's called for a lot of storms today. So we're gonna be having some weather. That's gonna suck balls. My coffee, I don't know when I'm gonna find a garbage can. So I don't wanna carry that freaking can. So I came up with something really smart. I clipped it to myself! Woo! So one thing I'm enjoying about the Vol State experience is so fucking dumb. But, uh, brushing my teeth whenever I want. I got my little travel toothbrush and my travel toothpaste. And so, let's say I just drank a coffee drink with like 30 grams of sugar and my teeth are feeling scuzzy. I'm on the side of the highway and I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'm gonna feel nice and minty fresh. Um, good stuff. Made it to... The bench of despair, and just in time too, because it is fucking boring. But literally the second I sat down, it's crazy. All right, so I think we're getting close to Lewisburg. Um, I've been moving really well, and I've been in a really good mood today, um, just because of the giant amount of sleep I had yesterday. Um, but my calf is like really tight. I know why. Um, I've been, you know, the road's got the camber, whatever. Um, and then I've been running down the hills and when I get done, my hip is in a lot of pain. So then I think it's like altering my gait and my whole posterior chain or whatever is in pain. So I'm hoping to get to like a dollar store or dollar general. Um, I need to buy some more tape. So I'm gonna buy some rock tape and then maybe, I don't know, biofreeze? Just to kind of like play around, see what I can do, um, and then sit outside and kind of massage it and see if I can loosen it up. Um, no, this is not, this is not Lewisburg. Damn. Oh well. <sighs> so we are currently at mile 202 in Lewisburg. Um, and see, what? I, you forgot Lewisburg, I forgot Lewisburg, but uh, we are at a Walgreens and we have our feet up. Um, today's been like a really good day. Um, Lewisburg was a lot more sketchy than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like one of the quaint little towns we've gone through, but uh, it's a little, little sketch. I'm very glad it was the daytime when we went through here. Um, I think we're gonna get a food. I've been eating like crazy all day, which I think today's like the first day I haven't felt bonky all day. It's almost like when you eat, you don't feel like shit. 
pretty cool. Love it. Um, yep, that's all. So it's currently about 3.30 a.m. Um, still uh, on the outskirts of uh, War Trace, like way outskirts or uh, something along those lines. I think 2.44 is the mileage. Um, had a sleep this morning. I don't think I've updated for a while, but had a sleep this morning at uh, the sketchiest hotel I've ever been to in my life. Holy shit. Um, and continued throughout the day, and I think, honestly, I, it may have been like 9 o'clock or something like that, um, where we came across this ridiculously amazing angel station that had a cot, and I had, I, I had a couple blisters, um, Oak helped me pop and wrap to my two blisters, so we got that taken care of, um, but I was getting the sleepies already. Like, I am just so behind on sleep and I'm so tired. Uh, so I was like, there was a cot there and I was, I'm just gonna, just gonna lay there, you know? Um, Oak wanted to get out like really fast and I wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. Um, so I lay down in the cot and I slept until 3 a.m. So probably. I mean, I probably got at least like five real solid hours, which is awesome. But uh, this also means that today is going to be my lowest mileage of the entire Vol State, um, both both morning and evening parts of it. So uh, that's a little disappointing because there's still, you know, what, 80, under 80 miles to go. But it's, you know... <laughs> It is what it is, honestly. This is the adventure. Um, so while I was sleeping, several of our, you know, people we know, the back, the bubble behind us caught up to us. Um, and I think Oak and Tin and June, they all left uh, maybe hours ago. I'm really not sure. Uh, but now I'm just walking along the lonely road in War Trace, trying to wake up and continue on the, this ridiculous ridiculously stupid journey oh yeah one other thing I forgot um, so when I was sleeping in this cot uh, my body was in horrific pain like bad so like I would just set my heel on the cot in a wrong way and I wanted to scream in pain so I guess it wasn't like a super restful sleep but wow that's a lot of pain uh, for <laughs> just trying to sleep um, Oof. Uh, all right. Uh, maybe I'll have an update when the sun comes up and I'm feeling more fresh. Bye. So it happened. Um, uh, one of the things I was kind of hoping would happen, but not. Uh, so I was sleeping under a tree, just taking a little nap, as you do, um, in my poncho, because uh, it's going to be storming. But I was like, oh, I just got to sleep these a little bit. I want to take a nap. Um, I fell asleep pretty hard, pretty quickly, um, and all of a sudden there was somebody in a police vest, had a car, and then another car pulls up. So I talked to the police. I had a police encounter, and they're like, oh, cool. And then the police officer lady is telling me how she runs three to five miles almost every day, and she was going to look into the race. So that was a fun little confrontation, not confrontation, interaction. Um, with the police here in, uh, I think I'm on the outskirts of Manchester, but it could have been the Coffee County Police. So fun stuff. Still on my way to Pelham and then Monteagle after that. Hopefully I'll get there by tonight. It's fucking hot. <laughs> um, it's uh, currently... I don't know, 1.30 in the afternoon, I'm maybe two and a half, three miles from uh, what I've been told is a nice angel station where I can get some water. Um, I've run out of my electrolyte and I'm almost out of my bladder so I'm being very conservative with it. Um, I tried to go to like this community center back here to see if they had like a hose bib or something 
that was no dice. Um, it's like a real feel of like 110. And then the ambient temperature from the asphalt, like cooking my legs, I can feel it coming up. Um, I mean, yes, this is like a lot of how I trained back home, but mm, I just, <laughs> I want some water, I know it's coming, but I'm just kind of walking slowly. Um, so hopefully I'll see, uh, get a road angel soon. I'm a new woman! Oh, wowzers! Okay, so on this ridiculously long hot stretch um, that I mentioned I was trying to be conservative with my water, I ended up running out of water like at least a mile and a half before I got to the road angel that Oak told me about. Got to the road angel. Ah, amazing setup. It was just what I needed. I took a nap. Um, when I was getting ready, the road angel had ordered pizza. So I had a hot slice of pizza. It was awesome. Um, so now I'm refreshed. Well, I feel disgusting. Like, cleanliness wise, I can feel just grime and I smell like, but I am refreshed mentally. I'm getting ready to do the climb up to up Mont Eagle in several miles. So hopefully next time I check in, I'll be on top of the mountain. All right, so I am in uh, Tracy City right now. Um, I found the most glorious bench outside of a restaurant bar. It was like 12 foot long church pew. Um, padded. I think I slept the oh, probably three or four hours. I got some really good sleep. Um, I feel awesome. It's like 3 a.m. now. So as I'm stumbling my way away from this church or away from this bench outside this restaurant, uh, the popo shows up. And again, two cars this time. Um, said, oh, doing the the fall state 500k like oh well, where do y'all sleep and i said oh you know like angel stations that people set up in their yards and my friend got a hotel room in mon eagle that kind of thing it's like okay have a good night okay and then i am on my way as of right now it's 11 miles left 11 miles and i am done picked up my tracker um, and I'm about to cross the infamous Blue Bridge.